Good evening, and welcome to the 2022-2023 Eastland Middle School Spring Band Concert. I am Mr. Hill. It has been an absolute pleasure working with your students over this past year. My first full year in Roseville at the same building doing the same thing. So it has been excellent, a privilege, and truly a treat. Up first, we will have our sixth and seventh grade intermediate band. They will be performing three pieces for you. Give us a moment to get them on stage, and we will get started momentarily.
Speaking of celebrating our student successes, last night, Eastland Middle School hosted our annual awards night, and several of these students up on stage received awards for various different so, uh, subjects throughout school, but there are four that are sitting on stage that received award for band, and I would like to honor them here tonight as well. So, starting in the back, Ashley Risman on the percussion section, congratulations. We had Olivia Falsoni on the bass clarinet. We had Haley Lapp on the trumpet. And we had Nadia Bully on the trombone. Now, I can only choose four, and it's not to say that all of these students are not excellent, because they all are. They truly hold our values near and dear to their hearts every day they attend our school. But we have to choose some. We just want to share a little bit of love. So one more time for all four of those honor reads. All righty. And that was our second piece, the dotted, the devious, the dreaded, Devious, diabolical, dotted, dragon. It's a lot of words. It's kind of a tongue twister. I can never say it right. That's why the print gets really small, because there's just so many of them. But we did have a bass drum solo at the start of that as well. Miss Catherine Cooper in the back. We did have a little bit of a bass drum solo action as well. The final piece for Intermediate Band is called Gravitas. It will kind of be a little bit more of a traditional classical piece of music. Not orchestral or Bach or Beethoven, but kind of starting to get into those subject matters. A little bit more themes from that. So it might not sound like the dreaded devious Diabolical Without a Dragon or Night Fury, but it still teaches how to create, interpret, and be artistic, intentful musicians. We hope you enjoy our final piece, Gravitas.
immediate band, as you get settled in, please do so quietly. Okay. Go ahead. Watch the instruments. Try to take some care. I know you got some big instruments out there. Just try to be gentle. Up next, we have a couple small duet and solo performance opportunities. Some students have been eager to learn extra music, and I'm never one to say no. So, up first, we have two sixth graders, Evelyn Ticino and Olivia Falsoni. They play the bass clarinet and the tuba, and they will be doing a duet on a piece called To a Wild Rose. Alrighty, it's not often that the low instruments in the band are featured, so we do like to share the love when we can. I myself was a baritone sax player, so I know all too well that when you're sitting in that back row, those half notes, whole notes, and quarter notes aren't all the bee's knees. Now, up next, one of our advanced band percussionists is also a piano kind of connoisseur someone that is starting to kind of teach themselves the rope. So she had asked if she could play a piece named River Flows in You by Yaruma on the concert. And I, of course, said absolutely yes. It was one of the first pieces I learned. I would love for you to share it with the audience today. So please welcome Chloe Kogi.
Alrighty, how about one more round of applause for our small ensembles? That takes no small effort. I'll tell you, it's something to get up and play in front of a crowd this big in an auditorium with these bright lights. It is awesome. It takes a lot of guts, a lot of nerve, and I always appreciate students that are eager to take up that challenge. Now, our final events for the evening is our 7th and 8th grade advanced band. This year, the advanced band went to District Band and Orchestra Festival, received straight twos in festival performance, meaning excellent. They are an excellent ensemble, an excellent group of students, and I am privileged to work with them every day. So without further ado, could the advanced band go ahead and make your way onto the stage? Our first piece that we have for you this evening Alrighty. So, as I was saying, I'm sorry, I didn't want to take away the applause for our excellent students up here. Our first piece that we have for you tonight is titled Fortress of Stone, and you will surely understand why in a moment. Intermediate band students, please listen intently as you will see a little sneak peek of things that are on their way for you next year. The second piece we have for you tonight actually is a really awesome piece that combines a little bit of social studies, a little bit of ELA, and a lot of bit of bam. It's titled The Pit and the Pendulum, and it is based off of a story written by Edgar Allan Poe. If you are familiar with Edgar Allan Poe's work, you will know his themes are a little bit more dark, mysterious, mischievous, kind of epic. So, The Pit and the Pendulum is of a story of a man captured during the Spanish Inquisition. He was sentenced to execution. 
And this is the story of the walls around him kind of caving in as he's pushed closer and closer to the pendulum. And again, before we end this evening, a few things to discuss with this group we have on stage. First things first, we have some eighth graders with us this evening. Those eighth graders, as I call your name, will you please stand in no particular order except for the section that you're sitting in, Abby Sutherland, <laughs> Stephanie Brandon, Frank Lanzini, Raymond Blaine, Lila Davis, Caleb McWilliams, Tragen Green and Hunter McGuire. Let's give it up for these eighth graders that are excellent, excellent leaders. Eighth graders, please stay standing. I'm going to get a little emotional. I, I know. I, I know. Mr. Hill, you really going to do this right now? Yeah. So, when I got here a year ago, these guys were kind of the older kids. They kind of knew what they were talking about, and they were looking at me like, who is this guy? I've had Mishapula, I've had maybe a little bit of Mr. Bell, but I don't know who this guy is. I just walked in in the middle of a band room in February or January, and you guys just started ready to work. From that year and a half on, I've seen nothing but continual growth from you as young musicians, as young people, and as students at Eastland Middle School. I am incredibly proud of all you do every day in all facets of your life, not just music, but as young people in our world that we so desperately need more of.
to be like you. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for being an Eastland Cougar. And congratulations on the next chapter of your journey. Thank you so much. And as we did with the Intermediate Band, same thing applies. There are four students sitting in front of you that were chosen as the students for their respective course, the four honorees for our award. And in this advanced band, we have Frank Lanzini, Stephanie Brandon, Tragen Green, and why Raymond Blank. I don't know why I'm... Give it up for these four outstanding young musicians. Four outstanding young musicians. And the most important award that I was asked to give this year is, of course, the eighth grade instrumental music student of the year. If you're at award night last night, we announced it there, but we got to do her justice and announce it here as well. Could Lila Davis please stand? And can we give her a huge round of applause, our eighth grade instrumental student of the year. Thank you so much for all you bring to our program. We can't wait to see you succeed in your high school endeavors. Okay? We will miss you greatly. And finally, our final piece, which has been on every day at Eastland, a little bit of a piece called Action Scene. Written by Brian Balmages, it depicts the rum-bustling scenes of a cityscape or a chase. Anything you can really depict out of an action movie. Lots of loud, soft contrasts, big booms, loud bangs. No further ado, Action Scene. Thank you for you all. Thank you to our central administration, to our principals, and especially our parents for supporting your students. We could not do what we do every day without all of you. Here is Action Scene. 